three heavy siege guns are en route to the Nanosoft Research Center from the Krakow storage compound. We have asked for an explanation from Krakow, but as usual they are denying all responsibility. The guns are entering from the West Tunnel and are being supported by a fighter escort. Understandably, Nanosoft have appealed for G-Police assistance. Slater will lead Ricardo on a mission to destroy the siege guns with a group of G-Police fighters providing backup. Those fighters must be kept off Slater. Intercept those siege guns before it's too late. Over. Control to Alpha Wing. Proceed to Waypoint 1. Over. Control to Alpha Wing. Each gun has a heavy fighter escort. Be careful out there. Over. Control to Alpha Wing. Have a group beta or in your area. They will concentrate on fighters. Over.
Sector is safe, for now. Control to Alpha Wing, mission complete. Over. Krakow's increasingly arrogant behavior is threatening to trigger some kind of free-for-all on Callisto. These corporate tantrums must now be brought under control. It is to Nanosoft's credit that they have not retaliated to this aggressive posturing. However, we cannot assume that they will remain so calm indefinitely. G-Police has ordered Krakow to disable all its remaining military equipment. Predictably, the corporation is refusing to comply. They claim the attacks are not of their doing. They leave us no alternative but to use force to destroy their military hardware. Slater will carry 2,000 kilogram bombs to be dropped on the compound while Ricardo provides air support. We must aim to disable as much equipment as possible. Team Delta reporting. We're on our way. Over. Control to Alpha Wing. Escort Ground Team Delta. Over.
You're doing a great job, Slater. Round Team Delta to Alpha Wing. Come and join the party. Over. Control to Alpha Wing. Destroy all Krakow hardware. Over. Good work, Slater. Control to Alpha Wing. Proceed to Waypoint 1. Over. Control to Alpha Wing. Bomber Group Zeta dispatched to finish them. Keep the area clear. Over. Control to Alpha Wing. Escort Bomber Group Zeta to target. Over. We're under attack! Get us protection!
Delta Alpha Wing. Mission accomplished. Good cleanup. Now that Krakow's military hardware has been removed from the equation, we should be able to continue with legal proceedings on a more formal basis. We are in the process of assembling the evidence against Krakow. Clearance to seize company records should be confirmed shortly. We have now assembled ground units ready to download all data from the Krakow Corporation headquarters. Slater and Ricardo will provide air support for the ground units in case things get out of hand. However, we don't expect resistance as we destroyed their military hardware very effectively. Once the data drives have been retrieved, they'll be loaded onto your gunship for delivery to G Police HQ. Please be aware that corporation officials may attempt to escape. If this happens, they should be captured without inflicting harm. Control to Alpha Wing. Provide air cover for the data retrieval unit. Over. Control to Alpha Wing. Escort Ground Team Epsilon. Over. Ground Team Epsilon reporting. We're on our way. Over. Ground Team Epsilon to Alpha Wing. We are under attack. Request assistance. Over.
getting hammered down here. Accomplished. Over.
It is not known why Nanosoft attacked G police units or why they were trying to destroy the Krakow HQ. We have several analyst teams studying the retrieved data right now. It seems likely that the information may well contain a few answers. You will be notified of further developments. For the moment, please be aware that the corporate conflict no longer appears to be over. Now, Nanosoft had joined the fun. They'd been lying to us all the time, and it looked like Horton had bought it all. He couldn't be that dumb. All my suspicions about the virus and the Cortex chips came flooding back as I stormed into his office and accused him of selling us out. Horton was a cool one, all right. Didn't even blink an eyelid. Turned out, he'd always suspected Nanosoft but couldn't gain enough evidence. Being aware of the traitor, Horton had hidden his suspicions to keep Nanosoft off his back while he methodically took Krakow to pieces. Hell, you had to admire the guy. He'd even tried to cover our backs on that last mission. A recon patrol under Ricardo had been secretly dispatched to warn against any Nanosoft first strike. It was just bad luck that the patrol got jumped. Ricardo had suffered a downed comm link just before his wingman got flamed. By the time he got back with the news that Nanosoft were attacking, it was too late. The traitor was still loose, but at least the data dump from Krakow's HQ promised to be interesting. With Krakow out of the way, we could now put the heat on Nanosoft. Horton planned to fill us all in at the next briefing. I went to check on Ricardo to see if he was okay.